Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy OG from Kanto. I got a really special video for you guys today. Um, before I get into the video, I just want to say thank you guys for actually clicking onto this video. Um, I really appreciate that. Uh, really, really do. But uh, let's get into it. So anyway, regardless, I was going to do a team showcase of my monotype rock team. But then I got to thinking, um, why not show some love to every Kanto gym leader and focus in on their typing of their team. So I'm gonna be making a playlist of all eight Kanto gym leaders and their typing. And starting off with my favorite typing, which is rock, uh, let's get into it. Um, so I have this team right here and I am sitting currently, I believe at 1446. 1442 on the on the national decks um, um, ladder right now, but uh, let's get back into it. Uh, so I have Mega Deante, I have Alolan Golem, I have Cradley, I have Stack Attacker, and Nieglo, and Caracosta. Yes, you don't see Terrakion, you don't see Tyr uh, Tyranitar, Mega T Tar, you don't see Aerodactyl or Mega Aerodactyl, you don't see Amastar, you don't see Shuckle. Uh, so <laughs> yeah, you don't see these guys uh, But honestly this team right here it puts in work and I'm gonna break it down for you guys starting off with Mega Deante first um, I went with Mega Deante because basically she can really her ability magic bounce. It's, it's special It really does it disrupts your opponent's plans of strategy uh, and then I went with the timid nature with her uh, just so that I can get optimum amount of speed against my opponents. Um, and then I put 252 uh, special attack and 252 um, in, the uh, in the speed and 4 in the special defense. I also, uh, for the moves, I went with Stealth Rock so that way I can cast my own hazard, hazards onto the field. And then I went with Moon Blast as the next move. Uh, really, to get that uh, 95 uh, damage in there with the stab. Uh, against my opponents then I went with power gym just to get the optimum amount of power with the special attack and then with earth power covering my uh, super effective uh, uh, opponents such as poison and uh, steel so then I went for the next one is Alolan Golem now this one right here I honestly I put this guy way better than Rhyperior he just amazing godsend and just to really break it down I took some I wrote some notes down and compared to him because it's just so much to talk about this guy right here let's start off with his ability magnet pool with magnet pool you're basically trapping all your still type uh, opponents with this guy uh, which is the reason why he's on this team and he's basically covering against scissor scissor is basically a thorn in every rock model types team Typically people will go with a weakness policy right period on the team to take care of scissor But the problem is that opponents will usually pivot switch from scissor from off the field to avoid right period retaliating with a heavy blow But uh, I went with Alolan Golem just so I could actually trap my opponents I'm gonna get into the moves, but first I want to focus on the EV set in which what you're seeing right here is pretty interesting and you're probably wondering like what is going on right here but trust and believe I, I i can explain this one right here typically people will go with a, a 252 attack and then a 252 speed investment golem a little golem with either adamant or jolly nature maybe even a choice scarf or a choice band but i took a deeper look at a lowland golem and i feel as though many people didn't even scratch the surface when it comes to really using a lowland golem at its best and to me personally from everything that I've, um, I'm about to get into, I actually put him above Magnezone. Uh, I kid you not. Um, so, but let me go. Let's let's go into it, okay? So basically, I went with a 52 attack, 252 defense, and a 204 speed investment in EVs with Impish Nature. This gives a Lolan Golem the same amount of defense as a fully invested defensive Impish Nature Rhyperior. And with Golem's Rock and Electric typing, it makes him neutral to taking damage from a Bullet Punch or any other still attack uh, that generally comes at you. And with the 252 um, investment, uh, Golem can actually, a Lolan Golem can actually safely pivot switch from another Rock Pokemon that is on the team and keep opponents such as like Scizor from leaving the field. 
which is very, very important. Now on to the speed investment in which I want to talk about right here, uh, which in what you're seeing is a 204, which basically puts a Lolan Golem at 177. This is enough speed to outspeed most annoying and dangerous steel threats that Burton Rock teams. For instance, your typical OU Corviknight build will sit at speed 170. OU, Sizz OU Scizor build will sit at a speed of 166. And the OU Still Stilla build at 158 in speed. OU Skarmory build at 176 in speed. And then a bulky um, by sharp with no speed investments will sit at 176. So sitting at 177 just gives you enough just to really get over most of your opponents. Um, and with Golden's horrible 45 base stat and speed, you're not going to outspeed every Pokemon your opponent sends out. It should be heavily focused on outspeeding common threat builds that steel Pokemon type comes in. Then the rest of the EV investment goes in straight into the attack, which isn't much of the problem, uh, especially with the item choice band that you have right here. Um, uh, typically, this is going to hit hard enough where with enough power to Oko or two, uh, two hit KO most opponents. In regards to moves, uh, this is a very, very good coverage um, attacks right here. We got Fire Punch, Wild Charge, Earthquake, and Brick Break. In regards to Fire Punch, this gives great, great, great coverage against uh, opponents such as like Scizor, Ferrothorn, or Cortana. Uh, speaking of Cortana, Cortana can actually do a plus two with a uh, um, with a steel um, uh, steel type attack. And actually, matter of fact, plus two with Cortana with any attack, um, and uh, with and a, and a Lolan Golan will survive that. Um, uh, wild Charge for coverage is uh, basically the second move. Wild Charge is for coverage against Celesteela, Skarmory, or Corviknight. Um, and then Earthquake is for great move coverage against Ma uh, Mons such as Mega Metagross, Mega Mawal, and um, Bisharp. And speaking of Meta Metagross, Metagross it, uh, I have so many, so many replays where uh, Mega, um, where Me Mega Metagross doesn't do anything basically, and uh, Alolan Golem just basically stumps through. But let me go into it a little bit more. Um, uh, then finally, Brick Break is for opponents such as like Klepki, uh, who's really pesky with setting up dual screens. Also, uh, Klepki has a hard time setting up screens and failing horribly with uh, Thunder Wave because of Lolan Golem's electric dual typing. Um, you're not going to outspeed um, Excadrill. Uh, I wouldn't even waste your time with that. So. I wouldn't bring in a Lolan Golem at all against Exo Drill. Also, Ega Slash can also pivot switch because of his ghost typing. Uh, so just play it smart. Um, uh, typically, like I said, uh, these four moves are great, great coverage and gets the job done. The next uh, Pokemon I'm going to talk about is Cradley. Uh, I, a standard piece on any rock team uh, in, in speaking about it. With I went with an Assault Vest with this one right here just to get enough um, uh, special just to make them as bulky as possible with the investment you're seeing is pretty crazy right here but uh, let's get into it I went with a 252 uh, special attack modest nature just to get as much power as possible with an assault vest right here um, bulking up his uh, defense right here special D excuse me uh, sitting at um, uh, with the speed right here you're seeing 112 and this is really important right here. Basically, I put the speed just enough to get over Azumarill right here. Um, this right here is actually enough to outspeed any belly drum Azumarill, which, if, <laughs> which is basically a monster if he sets up. Uh, but uh, right here, Cradley can actually Oko oak, uh, Azumarill and get the job done. So you don't have to worry about um, Azumarill trying to uh, uh, take out the whole entire team. And then I put 144 in defense just so that I can actually take some heavy blows from opponents such as your Mega Swampert that's coming in with the Ice Punch or an Earthquake or anything like that. And then uh, the moves that I went with was uh, Giga Drain just for the stab. I went with Earth Power for the next move just so I can cover against anything such as Steel or Toxic Pex whatsoever uh, then I went with sludge bomb just to actually cover against any grass Pokemon as a matter of fact 
uh, sludge bomb and also fairy types. Uh, this critically set right here is just phenomenal. This gets through. And then I went with a hidden power of fire, which is basically I use it. It really surprises a lot of people. It throws people off, especially when they send out a fair thorn and they're trying to do some leech seed. This hidden power of fire just basically covers against uh, your uh, threats such as like fair thorn or scissor um, of that matter. But uh, Storm Drain is always important. Uh, basically, you're covering your whole entire team against any water attack right here. And so for the fourth Pokemon I went with right here, I went with Stack Attacker. And the reason why I went with Stack Attacker, I, it's just really strong Pokemon. It really throws off your opponent's strategy, especially if they are focusing on speed. I went with your standard Stack Attacker Trick Room set which is uh, you're going to be 252 in HP, 252 in attack, you're going to be a lonely nature, try to get, uh, I put everything down to the correct setting, with this right here, that 15 IV stat right here, just because it's 397, I didn't want to put it at 396, uh, the one that's getting boosted is your attack, um, because it is a lonely nature, so the beneficial nature, um, beneficial stat boost will go towards the attack right here uh, then I went with uh, just a four and uh, special defense uh, you can either um, put that in whatever but I just put that in uh, special defense just so for water attacks and everything like that I made them as slow as possible with a zero in investment in speed just so that I can make sure I went with also an air balloon right here and what happens what I notice is that uh, my opponents will either try to throw out a, like an earthquake or something like that especially like a scarf earthquake from either an Excadrill or a Lando. They're looking at my team from team preview and they're kind of like thinking like, oh yeah, I can definitely throw out some earthquakes. They have this, my opponent has nothing like Aerodactyl or Minior, <coughs> excuse me, or Archaeops just to actually cover against this. And this air balloon throws people off, especially when I, when I bring out Mega Deante and I see my opponent throws out Lando and I'm thinking that either they're gonna go for an earthquake just so that they can actually take out Mega DNC, in which I've noticed, and it's stack attacker with the air balloon is just godsend right here, especially if you know that your opponent is throwing out a earthquake towards your way. Um, that gyro ball is just powerful. I've really got so many replays with this guy just just tearing through different teams. Earthquake and cover against other steel Pokemon and rock Pokemon, and then Stone Edge is just perfect. Just enough uh, to hit Corviknight or any Skarmory or Celestilla, any other flying other Pokemon, and it's just, just can't beat it. I mean, that 100 power, 80% accuracy, but I mean, the power is just God sent. <coughs> Excuse me, with the uh, high critical hit. And then I went with my Revenge Killer right here. I went with Niego. Perfect setup right here. Um, I went with the Choice Scarf with a timid nature make him as fast as possible get him out on the field and just start cleaning the house with him uh went with 252 in speed 252 in special attack this right here with the beast boost uh you're gonna be boosting up into your special attack typically i like to bring out niego uh especially right when he's about to finish out like a, a, an opponent you really get that uh boost in right there and then you can start trying to wipe out just examine your opponent's team when you have them out there and you send them out there and just basically uh, uh, just start cleaning the house with them. I went with moves such as uh, that was not your s typical standard Neogo in the OU, but this is a monotype um, rock team. So you have to focus this, uh, this guy right here on what is threatening you as a rock um, gym leader. And I went with Psychic, and this basically, this covers against any fighting Pokemon such as Conkodor, uh, also Poison and Grass, such as like Mega Venusaur, which is a huge threat, huge threat to Rock Pokemon. Uh, but this Psychic right here definitely covers against that Toxapex as well, um, uh, which is a serious threat. And then I went with Power Gem, just to get that stab, that 80% damage. Uh, generally, uh, your rock poke, your rock attacks. Uh, this is just a great attack to have on your team, um, on your move set right here uh, for flying Pokemon. Especially like if you think they're gonna pivot switch into uh, either they had, um, let's say they had uh, a, a Toxapex or something like that, and you're gonna throw a Thunderbolt. Um, and they're gonna switch into a Lando or something like that. You can really get them with that power gem right here. Um, and then I went with uh, Thunderbolt, which is really great, especially against a um, uh, your uh, your water Pokemon, 
that is pretty uh, fast out there. Uh, it's just, it really is a strong attack, especially it, it, this I think actually outspeeds a uh, um, Greninja, but you have to watch out for that Water Shuriken actually. But um, this Thunderbolt is just perfect. It definitely helps out, um, especially against water Pokemon. And then I'll finish that with Grass Knot, uh, which is pretty interesting. Uh, but for Rock Monotype team, this is pretty great, especially when you're going against a, uh, a Rain team, such as if they have Swampert or uh, Seismitoad or even a Powdon. Uh, for a Sandstorm team, Grass Knot Oko's a uh, Powdon, Oko's Swampert, Oko's Seismitoad. So you don't have to really just rely on um cradley because niego gets the thing gets the job done um and then so for the last and finally i went with caracosta which is the bread and butter i really love caracosta just underrated um i went with sturdy as the ability with a heavy duty boot and this these two things right here is just godsend right here um this generation generation 8 we brought out a new item called heavy duty boots which is perfect especially uh, if you have sturdy heavy duty boots actually ignores any uh, hazards anything that you walk into such as toxic spikes spikes stealth rock or even a sticky web so you ignore that right there i went with the eevee spread i'm going to get into the moves but i want to talk about the eevee spread i went with a jolly nature caracosta um 252 and special attack and um, excuse me 252 and attack and then 252 and speed just to get as much speed as possible um and then four in hp i went with the um Karakosa, I he does two things that's very important for this team now it's a pretty interesting move set that you're seeing i went with a shell smash off the back because this is a guaranteed right here especially with the sturdy and the heavy duty boots you don't have to worry about any stealth rocks or any spikes just disrupting your sturdy ability so you can actually get a guaranteed shell smash unless your opponent makes you flinch or even hits you with a multiple attack but typically Karakosa is just going to get that guaranteed shell smash I went with Aqua Jet for the next move just so that I can get that revenge killer um, um, pretty priority attack right there and then I went with his second uh, stab attack which is Rock Slide you just can't beat it it's I would actually put Rock Slide over um, Stone Edge with Karakosta in a situation that basically after the Shell Smash you don't have to worry too much about actually getting that crit because that Rock Slide after the Shell Smash basically gets the job done and plus you get that 30% chance of flinch on your opponent which is not too bad at all and has way better accuracy than uh, uh, Stone Edge. And then I, finally I went with Knockoff. Now typically you're going to see a Earthquake for your Karakosta in this situation. But I was after I was laddering, I was noticing that uh, Knockoff would be actually perfect in a situation. Such as if things was not going my way, um, I Karakosta can actually... Um, uh, Go ahead and let's say my opponent has a scarf user um, I can go and do the knockoff on um, like if they attack me first uh, which is usual but if they attack me hit me I'm gonna go ahead hit them with the knockoff now that I have taken their scarf off I can actually bring in my teammate Niego who is scarfed and I can actually clean up that opponent so it's just it's perfect for what uh, Karakosta is doing because he's doing the knockoff and as soon as he knocks it off I can do either aqua jet just to just to get another hit in there against my against my opponent but typically knockoff uh is just underrated it really does help especially when i was facing against off uh chances or even porygons which is any bulky um uh, uh opponent with evil like whatsoever um also i really want to talk about this real quick niego with the choice scarf outspeeds darmanitan and also uh outspeeds uh draco fish um, things that I've learned with this team right here, to be honest with you, is um, uh, that was some serious threats. Is basically um, uh, Scizor is not a threat anymore. Um, uh, like I said, Alolan Golem checks it very well. Mega Venusaur is just a huge threat, but I I use Niego to cover against that threat, especially with the. Uh, psychic attack also um, stack attack with the after the trick room and the gyro ball um, basically he can really clean out mega venusaur just gotta watch out for that um, 
we'll get with uh, Mega Venusaur. Um, Darmanitan um, was a threat in the beginning, but Niego definitely covers that, especially with the Choice Scarf outspeeding it and then hitting it with Power Gem. Um, and then Draco Fish was a problem, but after um, I use Caracosta with the knockoff and then with the Aqua Jet um, uh, just to put some damage in there and bringing out Niego, clean them out either with Power Gem right here. Uh, just to just to get that stab and uh, really clean house with them. But other than that, I really have to say uh, this team right here is just phenomenal. Really does put in some work, and I am going to ladder on later on um, in uh, future videos and show you guys how uh, this team works uh, and everything like that. Um, and hopefully you guys can enjoy some um, some clips that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. But typically this is the team right here. Um, right here so i really want to say thank you guys for watching the video uh I, I really do really do appreciate this i think this is honestly the best rock team i've ever created and my this is my favorite typing honestly so this uh, this team right here you guys can actually copy it whatever you guys want to do with it but this team right here is just phenomenal give it a run um uh and everything like that so take care and i'll see you guys in the next video peace